Welcome to you by DJS PRC. We're back with the Bronco from TR Traxxas TRX4M. Time for another upgrade. This truck has a lot of upgrades, but I do like the truck, seriously. Um, yeah. What we're gonna do, where it's time to change out that wimpy servo that's inside and go with the Power HD TRX4 with the Traxxas Performance Accessory. It's the servo mount uh, 6061-T6 aluminum. Was it the T8? T6 aluminum, dark gray. Um, let's do this. One of the first thing we're gonna do, remove our body. Now we know our servo is plugged in right here. That's right here. Let's cut the zip ties out of the way. It's not, that will prevent us from removing them, removing this. So I'm gonna unplug it. and try to run that wire. I'm not sure if I'll be able to without removing the tray. That's what I'm trying to do here. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Yes, cool. Okay, let's pull it. I could have done this off camera, of course. Now, the only reason, the only thing that's preventing me from pulling it a lot more is the way, here we go, the way the connection or the hole is made here. And this battery strap is very annoying but it is what it is okay we got our server out now what we're going to do we need to remove the servo horn in there we go you could remove the links and be able to get this bolt out but not going to do that i'm going to try to remove less part as possible but to make it a lot easier in my life I will remove the bolt that holds the steering link. Got those two bolts put aside. That way, not much is in my way. Okay, I'm gonna leave it connected to the servo and let's unbolt the top one. You'll have one in front and you'll have one in the rear. There's the first one. And the second one's a little bit harder to get, the second one in the back, but totally doable. There you go, got both screws. And we should be, the, should be able to remove our servo directly. And this is the 2065T. Now we can remove our horn out of it, put it aside. The reason I'm switching this guy out to the TRX4M is I want steel gears and a lot of better servo. These are plastic gears, they're wimpy, they're not strong enough. Sorry Traxxas. 
this is one part of this vehicle that you guys did not get correctly. It is exactly the same size. Plastic gears, steel gears. The only difference, the, the power wire for it, <laughs> extremely long. But it is what it is. <clears throat> now, what are we going to do? First thing, we're going to plug it in. Grab a battery. And we're going to energize the truck. What that's going to do And if I grab the remote for it, turn the remote on. I'm not sure if you can hear it. I'm centering the servo, making sure the horn is straight. Not no, the horn, I mean the uh, servo horn. But yeah, where the servo horn goes. reason you want to do this is you have to make sure you center your servo. If you don't center your servo, when you button the thing back up, your steering sound, instead of being straight like this, you'll be like this or vice versa. And you'll have a hard time correcting it with your remote. That's why you want to energize your servo and you'll hear it half the time go zip. It places itself to dead center. Now, you need to do this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you need to do this just once. As long as you don't move this, you'll be fine. Now we're gonna put that aside. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this mount. And I'm gonna try to see if I can do it without removing the wheels. Yeah, I guess I'll need to remove the wheels. If you do remove your wheels and you don't have the stock X's, like I do, I have the upgraded version of Traxxas, just make sure not to lose your pins. Because the stock X's locks itself on it. There we go. Now grab our screwdriver and remove the bottom bolt. And when you're going to remove this bolt here, it is the one that holds your uh, linkages. There you go. And it's a very long bolt. Now we're just going to pull up a bit. The diff will go forward. And we should be able just to unclip it. I'll show you a second here what I mean by unclipping it. Here we go. On the mount itself, you'll notice there's a small hole right here. Okay, there's one on each side. On your diff, you have these two pins that kind of acts kind of a counter lever. Okay, 
And on your upgraded part, you'll see the same thing too. Open our package here. Does come with uh, two screws and a nut. And literally zero instructions. I really don't know why they give you two screws and a nut. And just to compare, I might know why. No, these are threaded. Yeah, these are threaded. I really don't know. But, yeah. Now, what we're going to do is repop that one in again. Same way we took it off. And now, kind of cantilevers itself. And let's reassemble everything. Now, if you do have the upgraded drive shafts like I do, it might have popped itself out. And now is to reconnect that. But what I'm going to do here to make it life a lot easier, I'm going to remove my drive shaft. Now, if you're wondering about these drive shafts I have, it is the Yaw Racing. I did not do a video on the drive shafts. And the reason is, what's happening with Traxxas right now and a lot of aftermarket parts. Here we go. Remove this guy, put that out of the way. Now I'm gonna make sure to bring my links at the same time. This is gonna be very hard to show on the video at the same time, but trust me, you'll need to bring your links in the center of the mount. I don't know if you can really see it, but sometimes these links, they're hard to put back in, in place. I'm just going to try to put the link, the ball link straight. Seems to be in place. It is for one. Now is to align. Sometimes you align one and the other one will pop out. Or try to align the other one and the other one will say, I'm out of here. Okay. What I'm going to do, try to realign this guy. And um, somebody in the comment might say, yeah, why do you don't remove the physical diff? I could. Will it be easier with the diff out? No. You still need to pop the links back in. There's a lot of moving parts. Okay. Got that one in. What I'm going to do is wrong screw, uh, wrong screwdriver. I'm going to start bolting that one in slowly. 
and I'm not gonna go all the way in enough that it holds the link in place and what I'm gonna do is try to pop the deal link back in these swivel balls sometimes don't want to cooperate And again, sorry, you can't really see it. It's a very tight spot. And yeah. That is one part I hate. And I think I just, I might... I might be just lucky right now. Yes, yes. Let's slowly put that screw in. And I just found out why it comes with a nut. On the old mount, it, the screw screws in the mount. That one doesn't. Thank you, Traxxas, for that ex explanation. Explanation. And the Toyota screws are for the servo. Now it's the same size as the wheels, the nut. You want it tighten but not stupidly and here we go one thing I want to mention Pay attention to the direction this mount goes. <laughs> I'm not sure it on camera, but I realized once I finished installing, I put it up, up, not upside down, but the wrong way. Uh, when it's on the mount, you have a long hand, long hand and a short hand. I put the long one in the back, basically when the suspension was uh, rising, the servo horn was hitting the motor, but the servo horn, the servo mount. Okay, now once that's done, I'm gonna reinstall the horn on the servo, the straightest that I can. Sometimes you won't be able, because right now, if you notice, it's going that way. It, it is straighter. It's going a little bit that way, but I'm happy with that. I'm going to put the horn on, bolted it in. And while I'm tightening the screw, I'm holding the horn, preventing from turning. It's okay if you are moving it a bit, doesn't really matter. Now, what we're going to do is shoehorn it, like put it in like this. And pushing our servo down, making sure it aligns with the bar, it is. Now we're gonna use the two new screws they supplied. It would have been fun if they would have put a, maybe a little bit of instruction telling you why you need that nut. But it didn't take me long to figure that one out. Put that aside. Now what I'm going to do is 
give a little bit of slack here and route my wire to the back. Unfortunately, it is going to be a little bit longer. I'll have a small coil here, but that's fine. Uh, then come back here. Grab a bolt for the horn that connects to the link. There you go. Just gonna plug it in very fast. Turn everything on. Can't find my battery. And you can see our steering is turning. Now by looking at it, I am a little bit not straight but that's something I can easily fix with the adjustment on the remote. Let's say I would not have dead centered the servo when I did in the beginning. I probably would have been like this, crooked completely. And using the steering knob to fine tune it and be cranked completely on one side and still not be able to put it straight. If you guys have a comment or question below, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you. Don't forget to hit that like button and please do subscribe. I do appreciate it a lot. It does help the channel a lot. And thank you for watching.